In the last episode, I locked myself in the Zamorak Arena for six full weeks in order to get the strongest ranged weapon in the entire game, the Bow of the Last Guardian. But we're not done yet, and in this video, I want to get the best range armor in the entire game, a five-piece set of Elite Dracolich. This armor set is absolutely ridiculous. It is one of the most overpowered things that has ever been released into RuneScape, and because of that, I want it. But all good things come at a cost, and this set of gear is extremely difficult to get. The first step towards getting Elite Dracolich is to get a set of regular Dracolich. We need to go to Vorkath and get ourselves 99 Vorkath Spikes. These spikes can be combined with Undead Dragonhide, which is also a common drop from Vorkath, in order to make a set of Dracolich. But Vorkath is an extremely dangerous boss, in part because there's so much random damage that you can just take out of nowhere. One second, you'll be full HP, you'll be having a great time, you'll be relaxing, and then the next second, you can be dead, and you might not even know what hit you. To make matters worse, we're not even going to be doing regular Vorkath. We're going to be going to hard mode, because we also have a chance to get some extremely powerful unique drops like the Vorkath scale that is going to save us an absolute ton of time later on down the line if I'm lucky enough to get one. I'm so excited for this episode because we've been locked in necromancy for so long, but now that I've got my bow of the last guardian, we can actually start to do some ranging and actually use the range combat style in the ranger arc. So with that said, let's get it. I almost forgot, there's one more thing I want to do before we start ranging at Vorkath, which is to get myself a Darkbow Essence of Finality. I've already got the amulet, but I'm missing the dark bow part, and it's a 1 in 1024 from Dark Beast, so it could take a little bit of time to get. So before we actually start ranging, I think we want to get this fundamental piece out of the way. Oh, this is a good spot though. Okay, cool. Oh, dark bow! Okay, well, <laughs> that concludes the dark bow arc. Uh, thank you for watching this episode. Yeah, apparently there is a bow left in Gilanor that I can get in less than a month, allegedly. That took almost no time at all. So now, let's finally get ready to go to hard mode Vorkath. Really quick, if you're not subscribed to the channel, I would really appreciate it if you hit that button. It helps the videos get shown to more people, and it also helps our channel get closer and closer to 100,000 subscribers. <laughs> okay, can you imagine how good this would feel? Can you imagine? Let's make our Sirenic Top, and let's make our Sirenic Chaps. So, on the Sirenic Top, Biting 4 Mobile, Crackling 4 Relentless 3. On the bottoms, I've got Impo Patient 4 Devoted 2, and then I've got Genocidal Undead Slayer. My gear's actually pretty sick, I'm not gonna lie. I feel really good about it. Oh, I'm so scared. <laughs> All right, this is probably the end. <laughs> now, nah, this really is the most stressful boss fight in the game on a hardcore. It's genuinely just so nerve-wracking. 249? Dude, we're killing it. Wait, double dark? Dude, I'm hitting like a bus. I don't know what happened. This is the most damage I've ever done in my life, I think. My DPM meter isn't on screen, but if it was, it would just say all of it. Look at that! Bang, bang, bang. Holy crap, ranging is crazy! See, like, necromancy might be, like, good for this, but you don't get to pop off like that. You just don't get to pop off that amount of damage, where you're just critting, and you're hitting so much, and you're doing so much damage. Like, 13 kills completed. I've got eight spikes. Here we go. 1.9 mil. 1.2 mil. Oh my god, seven! Four cast spikes coming in for the first hour. That's so sick. I can almost make a Dracolich helmet. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep it going. Oh my goodness, another eight? Wait, surely we've got one more. 1.4 mil. Oh my God, what the? <laughs> Wait, we're going to be done with Warcath in three hours at this rate. All right, well, we already get upgrades. <laughs> Let's make ourselves a beautiful Dracolich Coif, <laughs> which also gets me the three piece. So I'm actually going to start getting the crit buff. Done. <laughs> Dude, I'm cooking right now. I'm actually cooking. Me saying I'm cooking right now means I will probably die in the next five or six minutes, but... Oh my god! Oh, 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 I call it! Why did I speak? Die! Whenever Zemo says die, <laughs> it usually means look over and expect to see a perish- Oh god! Oh yeah, my irritation's good now. I'm getting my ECB in the middle. I'm getting my two Serenco- Bro, look at how much damage that did! Did you see all those hit splats on top of each other? Dude, what a kill time! Holy crap! 229. <laughs> All right, ready? 15 more hard mode Warcraft leads. Let's get it. I'm expecting nothing because we were so lucky on our first 13. You never know, right? If we get the uh, the scale, that's so sick. Nothing. I mean, congealed blood is actually good on the loot table. Two mil. Uh, Fellstock seeds are really, really sick though. That's good. Cannonballs, not super useful. This is kind of like the seed run. Two and a half mil. Oh 
Oh my goodness, another eight. Any, any almost back to backers? That's fine. How many more spikes do I even need? 27 plus 36. That's it. Yeah, we're already over halfway now. And we've got the three piece Dracolage buff. Oh my goodness, I just got the range pet. Wait, let's freaking go. Wait, I am a ranger. Wait, did you see that? The double 24Ks? <laughs> okay, rough start. 23 mil! Let's go, six spikes. Okay, 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 okay. So all we need is we need the scale. Okay. Then got 33 spikes. Wait, another seven! No way. Wait, I'm actually popping off right now. No, we're, we're, we're flying right now. Come on, give me the juice. Come on, surely there's one more in me. There is another eight. <laughs> what is going on? Surely we're done. Okay, I have spiked. I have 40 spikes. And just like that, we are now on a four piece. That is a beautiful pair of Dracolich chaps. So now all we need to be done Vorkath, kind of. We don't need very many more. We need 23 more. Dude, I've been infused. Oh, guys, Ballista! Ballista! You murdered my Calgarian demon! Oh, Rocket Rocket has perished. 40% of Team DPS has perished. Pup died too! 80% of Team DPS have perished! It's all me, baby! I got this! Don't even worry, guys. I'm so locked in right now. I, like, barely even needed you guys. Whew. I need, I believe, 23 Vorkath spikes to be done. Here we go. Nothing, more nothing, even more nothing, even more nothing. I feel like I deserve this. You have to be nicer than this. Th this isn't happening. This isn't happening. Inconceivable, incongealable. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> I am absolutely spikeless. <laughs> Bro, that makes me want to spike my computer to the floor. Ready? Here we go. Lock in chat. Absolutely lock in. Come on. Oh no. Okay, there's seven, big. Oh, we got more than that, surely though. Seven, we do more than seven. A pittance. Seven, seven. A visage? I don't need a visage. Oh no. Oh no. Oh boy. 17 kills an hour? Wait, we're out here cooking. <laughs> All right, it's looting time. I need a looting song. Okay. 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 I'm not hearing the luck of the dwarves sound. Why do I feel like I'm going to get a duplicate Lord of Bones? I don't know why. I just feel like that would be the, the funny thing to happen. But like, surely we hit once, right? It would be, like, pretty bad to not hit once. Then we're, like, properly, like, dry, unfortuitous, you know? It would be preposterous. It would be... Nope. Remember, like, ten minutes ago when I was talking about how great and satisfying the linear progression felt? <laughs> oh. Holy kill time. 219. Beautiful. Wait, did they really? Ah! Oh, Jesus! Holy crap, I looked away for one second. That was not good. I'll be the first to say it. Here's the deal. We need to get done here. We need to get done here. It's deserved. Here we go. Nothing, nothing, nothing. It's not going well so far. Just not a Lord of Bones. Lord of Bones is the only thing that'll make me sad. Oh no. Surely we don't do 34 kills in a row without a single one now. That's impossible. So yeah, we're a little dry, but it's all good. Hey, RuneScape is a game about going dry and then going undry. Flanking, 18K, 17K, 18K. Dude, flanking is insane. This is your official RS guy notice. If you've been putting it off, get a flanking switch. This is probably the end of the arc, which by the way, makes me so happy. Like to me, this is the length of time a RuneScape arc should be. All right, so my last two hours, I had zero by the way. Here we go. Nine instantly. So we get one more spike drop and it's done. Dude, the luck ring clearly didn't help. All right, again? No, I called it. I knew it. I knew we were going to get a duplicate bone book. I'm not finished yet. That is an additional six. 
I'm missing one. We are one singular spike from being finished. Here we go. No way, right? <laughs> Here we go, team. So I need one more spike to be done. And we're done. <laughs> Wait, we didn't even have to risk it all for that whole hour. We could have just... Okay, so that is full Draculich completed instantaneously. <laughs> so now we've got 16 more loot chests available <laughs> to see if we can get the scale. The scale would be absolutely huge if we can get it. Surely we become tall and scaly. Wait, is it a scaly like a furry for fish? Is that a thing? We can Google that later. Nothing. Okay. Well, I'm glad we got it out of the way earlier else that would have been very stressful. Sweet. The final Vorkath kill count. 174 hard mode. 112 normal mode. So I think we're pretty much right on right there. Now that I've got my full set of five-piece Draculich, it's time to bring it with me to Elite Dungeon 1, where I'm going to need to get a total of 980 ancient scales in order to make the upgrade from Draculich to Elite Draculich. This dungeon has a reputation for being extremely dangerous, and just to put that into perspective a little bit, at the final boss Seryu, there are these shadow hands that come up from the ground and can do an absolute ton of damage every single game tick, which is 0.6 seconds. And if I was standing in the wrong spot with full life points and a sign of life, it would take only 2.4 seconds to go from full HP and a sign intact to completely dead. So I need to be extremely careful at all times. And if I make even the slightest mistake here, that's probably the end of the run. Time for the first ED1. We're gonna just need to be careful. Oh my God. It's dead. <laughs> hey, I got a fishy treat on my first run. Okay, that seemed okay. Masuda has been taken down. Surely, bang. Okay, how many skills I get? Uh, seven scales. Okay. Bang. Bang. Done. Beautiful. Awesome. How many scales? Ten scales coming in. Nicely done. My Devo's on cooldown. See this? This is the thing that's gonna kill me. Bang. And bang. Did I win? How many scales? 12 scales. Yeah, to do ED1 for this length of time, it's it's basically guaranteed consistency, which is super, super nice. Now, I know like if anyone could do it, it would be me, but I'm gonna put this on the record right now, which is that there is no such thing as going dry on ED1 scales. Eight again, dude. Okay, well, are we thriving? No, but we're absolutely aliving. I think the way that those runs put, went together worked really, really well. I'm barely using any supplies. I'm barely using any Grim Charge. I'm barely using any food. Feels very safe to kill it before the black hand spawn. So I can't complain. So I've got 90 ancient skills. So we're actually like 9% of the way. We I feel like we just got to ED1 and we're already 9% of the way. That seems great. I was dealing with an insurance brokerage help desk yesterday and I got the helper. So you have to put in your name and your email. So I put in my name and I put in my email, which is at the rsguy.com. So the, the helper goes, hey, yeah, what's your query? What's your issue? Like, I'd love to, yeah. This might be of hand, but are you Ryan the RS guy on YouTube? <laughs> Amazing. I've been watching your content for years. I'll freaking take it. It is about time that we hit a win. All right. I've needed a win. I was so stressed out yesterday. Dude, I hate the movement of this boss. Like, it makes it a good boss fight, but bro, I'm trying not to die here. What the f*** am I doing? <laughs> Careful. Sorry. Sorry for swearing. I almost died there. I don't know why I'm doing this. My brain is cooked. Go, go, go. Quickly. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm late. This is so bad. Help me. Please, someone help me. No, I'm not getting this. Okay, I ruined the PR, but at least I got the kill. Eight ancient scales. <laughs> Any droppers? Bang. Surely. Surely. 17 scales. Okay, we've got a new best drop. 17 scales coming in. Surely. Surely. Eight more scales. Dude, we're just getting eight, but that's fine. Bang. 155. Okay, that's a sick kill time. And how many did we get? Eight. <laughs> Why is it always eight? I do personally believe that if you are a hardcore that is dead, you are not a person. Oh my God. I just said that dead hardcore iron men weren't people. And then Saryu was like, that's gonna suck. Did I win? Masuda's War Spear, please. Oh, let's go. New collection log entry, Masuda's War Spear. We are tall and speared. What? 
That's my first ever HSR roll, ever. This is an absolute disaster because a cheese and tombata, for those who don't know, is a super rare drop that you receive on the rare drop table, and it indicates that if you had tier four luck, you would have rolled on the Hazelmere signet table, which means I had a one in 10 chance of rolling for an HSR, what I believe to be the single most rare item in the entire game, and instead I completely missed out because of course I'm not wearing a luck ring, I don't have a luck relic, and now for the end of time, I'm gonna have this cheese and tombata sitting and tormenting me in my Elite Dungeon Chest. This will serve as a constant reminder that although luck rings don't actually work on improving your loot at Elite Dungeons, they do of course work on all of the mobs and give you access to that HSR table. What do you got for me, boss? Surely like a bunch. 41! Let's go, dude! Okay, that's huge. That is awesome. That is exactly what we needed. Does that get us across the 300 threshold, though? 277, though. I'm pretty happy with that, honestly. 277 out of the 990 that we need. That's awesome progress for a day. Woo! Sarah used claw coming in. Wait, that's actually a really useful drop. I mean, actually, I take it back. It's completely useless. I forgot I've got a Masterwork Spear sitting in my bank. We're nine minutes into this run, and we're at Sarah That's That's the dream. Did I win? Ooh, 22 scales coming in. Nicely done. Okay, that's sick. Going up, going up. 26? Oh yeah. Okay, this is what we need. Uh, another 12. Dude, six times two, we're chilling. Any droppers? 44! Dude, what an hour. Hold up. We've actually done, I think we've done over 100 scales in an hour. Yeah, see, this is what I was expecting, a little more. All right, let's see it. Surely it's min drop four times in a row, and that's kind of deserved. 24? Oh yeah. Dude, we're we're actually flying right now. Oh my god, I could actually pre-heal this. I'm gonna try it. Screw it. Go. Done. Wait, I'm actually an animal. 145 and a 24 scale drop too. That was so sick. 32 scales! Dude, we're pogging right now. 55? Yo, okay, this is an insane day. Yesterday we were averaging like seven or eight over the whole day, and today we're averaging like 20. <laughs> Dude, we actually wall up to that. Holy moly, bang. That is level 96 Dungeoneering coming in. And how many scales are we talking? Eight, I'm good with eight. Nicely done, alrighty, the final kill of the day, two minutes flat. How do we do? Surely it's four. I feel like I deserve four. Let's see it. 20 each? Okay, check out this chest. So we started today on 277 scales and we are presently on 633. All right, team, first run of the day, let's go. Did I win? Bang. All right, let's see it. 88 scales? What the heck? No, dude. 88 scales? Oh, dude, we're getting done today. This is absolutely over. 88 scales in one go? That's an 100 million coin drop. Dude, 81? Maybe we're about to hit the biggest dry streak in the universe, but ED1 has been so kind. So we're already on 721. Oh, bad. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Run. Oh, my God. I honestly didn't realize they hit that hard. Did you see how fast my HP dropped? I was like, oh, they're spinning, and it's not so bad. I'm praying range. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Res. Oh. Holy crap. That was my first time getting hit by that. Me got... Four scales, oh boy. Okay, our luck completely flipped around. All right, not four again. Five, bro. All right, please a decent amount. 52, let's go. Okay, that's what we needed. That is what we needed, dude. Okay, okay, I needed that for morale reasons. It's just good. Quick scale check before we go in. 928, so I'm actually on 935 out of 980. In the two, uh, leg, hello? Tolbert. The hell is going on? Teleport. Um, at least there you ring of life, but dude, that happens at Siryu. I'm dead. All right, 45 to be done. How do we do? 33, what? We are, we are about to be done. I am 12 scales from being done Elite Dungeon 1. Here we go. This could be the final kill. It was 14 with that absolutely insane 14 scale drop, dude. We absolutely popped off this hour. Just getting that 50 bomb and then the 33, that was absolutely perfect. We have successfully managed to beat 
Elite Dungeon 1 and survive with our life intact. It is saying backpack is worth 1.2 billion coins. Nice. With Vorkath and Elite Dungeon 1 done, we're now onto the final step, which is also the easiest step and a bit of a nostalgia trip too. We need to go to Nex and get enough Pernix gear that we can destroy and turn into Prezilic Essence. As soon as I've got 12 Prezilic Essence, I'll be able to convert my set of Dracolich, along with my Ancient Scales, into a beautiful five-piece set of Elite Dracolich, the single most powerful ranged gear in the entirety of RuneScape. I'm going to start off using Necromancy just to get my feet under me a little bit. I haven't done Nex in a very long time, but I'm sure without a doubt that we're going to finish off this final step at Nex using ranged, because that just feels right. En route to doing necromancy, I got Pernix boots, Pernix chaps, and a Pernix cowl. That gets me six out of 12. We need six more. And then we've got fully the Draculich done. I just don't know how this boss works. Okay, this is easier than I remembered. <laughs> it turns out I can handle next. Did I win? That was a PR. <laughs> okay, good start, good start, good start. Oh, my damage. All right, well, PR, but also a little bit of pain. More than you would think. Ooh, that's my 75th next kill. Nice. Here we go. Welcome to range next, like it's 2018. Oh, what? <laughs> Bro, 215? I did say we were going to throw it back to 2018. <laughs> that's a 2018 kill time. Okay, zero ice prison moment. Wait, I'm insane. Holy moly, you see that kill time? The pace, the ranging? That is a pair of Ernest boots coming in. I guess I could use them if they ever buff Elite Tectonic. So perfect. <laughs> we'll take it. <laughs> I'm assuming I am just a build, right? Oh, Pernix gloves coming in. Wait, that is actually a perfect drop to get. So we now have a seventh Prezilic Essence. Okay, progress. Five more to go. My next kills might be terrible, but we're getting drops. So that actually kind of loads the bases because if we get a Pernix top, it's done. So that's pretty cool. Any drops? Oh my goodness! A Virtus robe top! <laughs> that is completely useless! <laughs> Pernix, I've got chaps glove. I'm literally just missing the top for a Pernix set. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> Wait, this might be the kill. This might be a PR. Wait. Pernix chaps! Pernix chaps! Let's go, dude! Editor, put in the clip! Pernix chaps! Pernix chaps! And a 137.8 submitted to the PBM record sheet. I can guarantee you no one has done a faster deck solo than that. How many essence am I short now? Legs are three? I just need two more? I'm 10 out of 12 then. That's sick. This was my big proposal. What if you let people link accounts to each other for group Iron Man, but instead of group Iron Man, it's anti-group Iron Man. So how it would work if you got like a Bolg, I would then need to get a Bolg. And then when I got the Bolg, it would remove the Bolg from your bank. So it's like group Iron Man, but for like haters. Can you imagine Cash and I going at it? I'm in the middle of a next kill and then my bow just disappears. Yeah, like if you looked at how many people are able to do high enraged Telos now, I mean, it's definitely less than 1% of the player base. It's, even though it's easy for me, that doesn't make it easy content. It makes it easy content for me. Oh my God, we're done. Wait. Okay, we got so lucky. I'm sorry, I just got so spooned. Uh, look at this log. 132 kills, a full set of Pernix, <laughs> one piece of Torva, two pieces of Virtus. <laughs> okay, yeah, we're just really lucky. That's like literally all there is to it. Wait, and you know what's even more cool too? We just get to use the full Pernix set and I get to keep my scaven in for looting, which is this pair of Pernix tabs. Okay, so. Full set of Pernix, all of the Ancient Scales, all of the regular Draculich, and then I need to go Slayer Cape to Kurdo? She's not lit! I repeat, tell me I don't need to do the puzzle again. No, I'm gonna, no, no, no! Lighting the Dragon Forge for the first time on Tall and Manly, but also still praying magic because I'm scared of a QBD incident, and it's done. I'm not yeah. 99 crafting. Prezilic Essence, I need a total of 12. Pernix body that we just got, gone. This is like the Eldritch Cross all over again. <laughs> we make it and then we immediately yeet it into an amulet. Pernix boots, gone. Pernix gloves, gone. Pernix cowl, gone. And last but not least, the Pernix chaps from earlier today, gone. Okay, I think it's time. Wait, I only got 11. My helmet only gave one. Cause I wore it? Okay, that's stupid. I, 
What? Because I equipped the helmet? What, it's less Perdixy? Is there Perdix in my head? Did it go in my hair? Why did I dunk my head in? It's okay, we got backup. Okay, done. Okay, we've got our 12. That is an elite Dracolich Coif boots, Chavam braces, chaps, and last but not least, an augmented Elite Dracolich top. And just like that, five pieces of best in slot range gear all at once. We are absolutely juiced. Thank you so much for watching this video, but the adventures of Tall and Manly are not done. We're actually just getting started. In the next episode, I'm gonna head into the Sanctum of Rebirth, but we're not gonna be going in normal mode because that's just a little bit lame. I'm gonna be going in in hard mode to not only try to get my first tier 100 upgrades, but also to unlock the Devour Aura, which in my opinion might be the single biggest flex you can get on a hardcore. But am I good enough to survive or is this gonna be the end? Tune in next time to find out. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like. And if you're in the 56% of people who are not subscribed to my channel, consider hitting that button as it helps me out a lot en route to 100,000. And with that, I'll catch you in the next one.